Bill Leland and Julian. He was actually left just before that invasion started and now looking on across the ocean and in that continent, hoping for safety and praying for peace. Shock. Uh, I was a little scared, to be honest, uh, for them. George Copeland describes how he felt five days ago. A lot of concern, for sure. As know, Russian so troops they, began uh, invading very, Ukraine, uh, as he worried for the country and friends he'd left there just over a month ago. Copeland runs Laborum Edge, a digital marketing agency in Richmond, and partners with a company in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, for software support. Despite concerns of the troop buildup at the time, Copeland went there in November to spend some time with his colleagues. I was embraced warmly, not just by my team there, but all the country as a whole. But Copeland says while in London in late January, he opted to come home early after an alert from the U.S. Embassy. Literally today, the 28th, is when I was actually supposed to fly back from Ukraine. So it's super sad for us. And the Ukrainian company's CEO says until it happened, no one believed the Russians would actually invade. But says he and his girlfriend fled the capital Thursday morning when they woke to the sound of falling bombs. It just like, took for us, uh, I don't know, about 15 or 12 hours by car. And there was like, I don't know, thousands and thousands of cars that was trying to leave the key. The CEO adds while most of his staff of 90 or so have left the city, about 20 to 25 remain, either because it's too dangerous to leave or they wanted to stay and help how they can. Trying to take photo of the places where Russian military is based or like just... Uh, uh, monitoring what happens on the streets. He says the company is also giving its profits to the military to help with the defense. He adds he's thankful the support the world has sent Ukraine, but says more is needed, including military support, especially in the air. It's going to take, I don't know, maybe months or years like to handle uh, this problem by ourselves. Copeland shared these images and videos sent to him by his colleagues in cities like Kiev and Kharkiv and says seeing how they've responded has been inspiring. That is the type of people they are. They, um, they aren't going to hide. They aren't going to cower. They Meanwhile, both men say they're hopeful for a quick and peaceful solution to the conflict. Yeah, now we really miss uh, the peaceful time. And I hope that Putin can listen to the rest of the world, including a lot of his people, um, and find a way to to end this right now because it's just a lot of needless death. Lund adds that he is offering what support he can from Richmond and is again saying that they are a beautiful people and it is truly devastating what is happening there.